Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to freeze the multiple rows and columns in Excel. So this is most important, so which will be used by everyone. So I faced the problem. So finally, I just want to share this one with all of you. So we know that, uh, uh, first of all, let us let me open the Excel sheet. So this is the Excel sheet I have prepared and uh, you can see so this is a irrelevant data there is no relevant so just uh, i just want to give a multiple rows and a multiple columns of data right so the main problem he problem is if you are scroll right side so the left column will be hidden right and if you scroll down the topmost columns will be not visible so here there is an option so which we have already recorded in our previous sessions so how to freeze the columns and freeze the rows so first of all where the these options will be available in excel so here in the menu bar you can find the view option so in the view menu you will be finding the freeze panes so here you will be finding the three options one is a freeze panes second one is a freeze top row third one is a freeze first column so if you go with the second one freeze top row so whatever the first row that will be freezed so if you now scroll down automatically the first row will be kept visible okay and see again if you click on freeze pens you will be having unfreeze pens so automatically whatever the columns or rows which are already freezed that will be unfreeze now if you scroll down automatically the first row is not visible and the third one that is a freeze first column similar to the second one the third one is a first column freeze so if you select this one the first column will be freezed so that if you scroll right side the first column will be kept visible right so again if you want to remove this one go to this one and uh, click on unfreeze pins and now if you want to freeze from fifth column that means uh, from 106 roll number if you want to freeze the top five so select the row and go to the freeze panes use the first option freeze pins so if you just move the cursor down or just scroll down you can observe the first five roll numbers has been visible right so that means you need to select the row such that whatever the rows which are available on the above will be freezed so in order to release just go with that one and unfreeze similarly the columns also if you want to uh, freeze the first two columns so select the third one and just go with the freeze free spins select the first one free spins so you can observe so all the columns which are on the left hand side of the selected column will be get freezed right so this we know now i just want to freeze a multiple rows and a multiple columns so that means for example i just want to freeze the first one okay the first row and i just want to freeze the column okay the first row and two columns first row and two columns so the simple way to freeze the multiple rows and multiple columns so simply select the one column okay one uh, cell so that whatever the rows which are above that cell will be get freezed and whatever the columns which are left side of this particular cell will be get freezed right see i am selecting this 90 so the rows which are above this cell will be get freezed the columns which are left side to this column this cell will be freezed so you can observe just i am just selecting a single column okay single cell not a column single cell right so just go with this one freeze you can observe here the keep rows and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls so just click on this one and you can observe if you go on right side so the two columns are in a visible state and if you scroll down the row is in a visible state okay so if you want to freeze the multiple rows and multiple columns just select one cell so that whatever the rows which are above the cell and whatever the columns which are on the left hand side of this particular cell will be get unfreezed 
for example let us take one more cell see here i will write here i'll merge and i'll write here college name so now i just want to say i just want to freeze these two rows and these two columns so i will just select this 90 cell so whatever the rows on the above will be get freezed and whatever the columns on the left side will be get freezed see go to the view and freeze panes freeze so you can observe here two rows has been freezed and similarly the columns which are on the left side has been freezed right so this is a simple way to freeze a multiple rows and a multiple columns in excel so hope you understood and definitely i hope this will be useful in your working environment right so Let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one and feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much